Hey everyone, it's Will Taylor, jazz violinist, composer, and arranger out of Austin, Texas. You can check out all of my videos at stringsattached.bandcamp.com. Becoming a member there, Beca becoming a full member gives you access to everything I've recorded, private house concerts, invites, and all of the videos, all of the content that I'm going to be uploading over the next forever, <laughs> forever that I do this. So there's already, we have about 50 patrons that have signed up. This video, I'm going to try something interesting here because I'm going to talk about the song Don't Know Why by Nora Jones and we're going to see if Facebook will take it down. I'm just going to play a little bit of her piano solo to give you an example of if you're a musician, an artist, uh, or just somebody that appreciates music, these kinds of videos, what I call these are under the hood, for, for, it's a placeholder name right now, to give you a little appreciation about what goes on in the mind of a musician, what goes on in the mind of a composer, and maybe that'll give you another way to appreciate music so when you hear it you really appreciate it and you want to support artists that are writing beautiful music so here's an example if you're a, a player how do you improvise over chord changes that have a lot of notes in them or a lot of chromaticism a lot of outside notes like this right in a minute here I'm gonna put the the camera above the, the keyboard how do you improvise over chords that are going all over the place now some people there's two approaches that you can take if you're an ear player, you just find notes that work, and that's fine. You find notes that work. Now, if you're playing a tune that is where you just can't even get your ear to figure out where the notes are, you can use theory to find some guide tones that you might want to base your solo off of. And I still recommend that I think the ear is the ultimate guide, and we all need to develop our ear because we're trying to play beautiful melodies. We're trying to improvise a solo with the beautiful melody. But you might be able to kind of coexist between these two worlds. When, there's a musician in town that I love, Dave Scherer. I'm going to share his name with you and that you go check him out. He's a musician that has a very highly uh, developed sense of ear, but he also knows what he's playing too. So he can kind of coexist in both worlds. When you go hear Dave Scherer, that's what I hear. I hear a musician that's well-rounded on so many different levels. So on this song, Don't Know why it's on the album come away with me i'm going to play a little bit of uh the chord changes i'm going to switch to piano here are beautiful and that they have i'm going to turn this around I hope this will work. okay so you can see the piano oh boy it's not going to work <laughs> all right here we go let's see if i can get that back okay so the chord changes um, you know, have this beautiful chromatic line. So it starts off. You can see it right here, going down. So you've got this, and so how would you improvise a solo when it comes to your turn to play a solo over that? If you were singing it, another way you know to develop your ear is to sing. And so what would what would your ear come up with? Let's see, where am I? Okay, so. You could sing a couple little phrases and see what your ear comes up with. What does Nora Jones do? Let's listen to her. I've got it queued up here, and this is where Facebook might actually take it off. Let's see if it works. Let's see what Nora Jones does. She's playing this in B flat. And, and see what her solo sounds like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go forward here. Okay, there's the solo. Nope. There's the solo. Hope you guys can hear it okay. <laughs> Try to play along with it. All right. So she's basically. Let's see if I can pause this. She's not playing any of the chromatic tones that are going by. So, you, you know, 
If you're a musician that has learned a lot of theory, you may be fooled by seeing a chord progression like this or a jazz bebopper and think, oh, I need to follow all the changes. So if I were, but you don't. You need. You can just play in the key. This is. She's playing in the key of B flat, and she's playing really bluesy. Basically, the pentatonic scale here. Okay. Most of her solo was based on that. She doesn't even hit a four in there. So. And all these chords are going by like this. Right? And then we got a G minor. Right? Going to C. Now see how it works? Now, if I wanted to add some chromatic tones in there, what would that sound like? Could that work? So another approach is... I know that this chromatic line is going through here, okay? So maybe I want to hit occasionally one of those chromatic changes to add a little flavor to my solo. I could do that. This is all about what's... In improvisation and writing music, it's all about taste. And it's about trying things out. So maybe there's a tasteful way that I can dip into that chromaticism, right? Okay, so I'm going to base my solo off of maybe this... So where am I? And I could try that, and that kind of sucks to me. I haven't heard that. <laughs> then if I go, that kind of sucks too. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hit that A flat. But if I wanted to on the D chord, I could hit F sharp, maybe. Maybe. to the C. Now I'm moving to that E, which is in the chromatic. And I'm trying to base the solo off of mainly that B flat pentatonic scale and occasionally hitting one of the chromatic tones if it makes sense melodically, right? So let me try that a little slower. So let's... Okay, so... Would that work? Or maybe if I go to the C, that kind of fits in a D7. And then what do we got next? We got G minor, right? Is that right? Or is it G major? I'm sorry. So then I was going to the E. Let's play the chords again. We got we got B flat, we got E flat, we got D, and we got G minor. Right? Okay, G minor. So that whole thing works in G minor. But I love this. Da, da, the next chord. I could do that. Now you see how I went? I went. On the C to the I hit the E flat to the so that, you know my opinion is you don't want to try to hit every chord if you can just play it really slow and occasionally if melodically your ear leads you and your brain leads you to hitting one of these half step things that are going on, then great, but don't overdo it. Like if I were a bebopper, I might go, I might go, right? Let's see. And then, okay, so that's like a bebop method. Okay, so that was more of that was an example following it more like a bebop with lots more chromaticism following along. So let's try that again. So we got B flat. Let's try it like a bebop method. Okay, don't know why. There's the E flat. Right? 
F. Alright, so, but in my taste for this song, I just love playing B flat, blues, B flat, keeping the melody there, letting the chords be the chromaticism that underpin the, just the beauty of a simple pentatonic with maybe a little, right, a little bit of blues in there. And Dave, I hope you can chime in on this and <laughs> give me some ideas. So let's try it again with the basic blues with no chromatic, no t touching any chromatic tones. Sorry, go. That's even pretty complex compared to what she played. Let's listen to again what Nora Jones played here. A lesson in economy, her solo, and minimalism. You know, beauty in space. You hear that? That's it. All right, thanks for watching. Soloing on complex changes or th changes that sound complex but really aren't. They're just making a beautiful six notes sound more colorful. Those six notes of that um, basic B-flat bluesy kind of pentatonic scale in the major key. So enjoy your time here. Come and get more videos at stringsattached.bandcamp.com. Let me know what you want to learn. Let me know what you want to hear. If you're interested in music lessons, you can visit me at 512-775-2371. And become a subscriber, stringsattached.bandcamp.com. You'll get all my videos. You can learn all this at home for five bucks a month or more and get access to our private house concerts, get access to all the music I've recorded and all the music I am going to record. Five bucks a month, stringsattached.bandcamp.com. Let me know what you'd like to see here and have fun. This is the last video of the day. Thanks for watching.